guys today is saturday i hope everyone's day is off to an amazing start thanks so much for stopping in today guys hope everyone had a lovely lovely easter week thanks so much to everyone who chimed in regarding the easter speeches um several of you made me remember not only the importance of the easter speech the Easter outfit, but also the Easter hairdo. So many of you mentioned the hot comb or straightening comb and the hair grease and just the countless hours it took to get ready for Easter Sunday. Um, I do remember my mom doing my hair for Easter, but I also remember more often than not, me going to the hair salon to get my hair done and that was the only time i got my hair done all right other than that my mom did my hair but you know i've said before here on the channel i didn't grow up with a whole lot but somehow my mom was able to rub two nickels together to get me into the hair salon every easter and it took forever you know now we have hair appointments and we get upset when you know we are when, when our hairstylists, I guess, double books and sometimes triple books. Back in the day when I would go to the hair salon, it was like this lady was the only individual doing hair for Easter because it would just be packed with little girls getting their hair done. And I, I just remember I'd say bye to my mom and I wouldn't see her until dark. <laughs> so uh again thank you out to everyone who brought back those fond fond memories those of you who kind of played along in the comments and chimed in with your memories for easter as well thank you guys so much also thank you to everyone who shared the easter plates all the good food that you guys have for dinner so i hope that you are ready now to move on into april and speaking of moving on into today's video guys is going to be filled with the things that i have been doing as of late to help me feel better according to a few members of my family things that i've been doing to help me also look better so that is what today's video is going to be about want to go ahead and share those with you so that you guys can come along for this spiritual physical journey of feeling well so <laughs> let's go ahead and get started with today's video the first thing that i have really started to incorporate in the start of my day i do not start my day guys without this and it is meditation i tip away into my little closet room or if eric has uh, gotten out of the bed before me i'll often do it here in the bedroom it's meditation guys meditation helps me to ground myself center myself make positive affirmations for the day you women know as we get older it is so easy for us to beat up on ourselves our looks our you know our weight so many things that we just poke holes in ourselves uh, about just on a daily basis and i've gotten to a point in my life where i said i just need to start looking for the positive in me and the meditation my da daily meditation really really helps with that and when we think of meditation before i started to meditate i often thought about meditation as something that i needed to i don't know take a class on or it was just like I, I almost felt that i needed to go on a retreat to get it like i needed to take a course in meditation but you really don't you just sit in a quiet space you are alone you are alone with your thoughts and you just declare that you are going to be positive that's i know that's what i do i just declare that i am going to be positive i am going to view myself view the day view my day-to-day -day in just a positive way i've also started including in my meditation that i'm not going to stress the little things again as women as we get older it is so easy for us to just pick ourselves apart about you know our hair going gray you know gaining a little weight here or there putting on a few pounds i've just decided i'm going to take one or two things during the day just really focus on those items and just be positive about, about it. Find something good during the day. Again, it is so easy for us as women to just go about our day, just picking not only ourselves apart, but you know, looking at other people's lives and 
you know, kind of comparing ourselves to other women and that is not a good thing. I want you guys to know as I sit here in front of the camera that as influencers, as YouTubers, as individuals on Instagram, please know we, people are only showing you the parts that we want to show you. No one is going to hop on YouTube or hop on Instagram and show you the just terrible, terrible dreaded parts of their lives. No one is going to do that because Honestly, no one really wants to see that. We all know as adults that there is something going on in everybody's life. I'm not tipping over to Instagram to see the negative and I'm not gonna show the negative, but just know it exists. And so I have started saying, you know, I'm not going to get on Instagram or, you know, log on to YouTube or wherever and start, oh, woe is me that individual is doing this, that individual is there in their life, why isn't that me? No, I'm going to find the positive in my life for that particular day and, and just be happy. So meditation is number one. I do not miss a day without my meditation. And also I'll say too, you don't have to sit in there for 20 minutes meditating. Three to five minutes is what I allow myself and then I get on with the day. All right, and so after I finish my daily meditation, more often than not, I do it over in my closet room um, because I go in there, I close the door, I lock it. You know, I don't want any interruptions when I'm meditating. But after I finish my, med my meditation, I tip downstairs and you guys know that for the longest, I have been swearing by my daily, I won't say glass, but glasses of lemon water. I absolutely love the taste of lemon water. It's very difficult for me right now to just drink flat water. If I'm out in a restaurant and, you know, they give you little st stingy little pieces of lemon or lime, lime, I'll get sparkling water, water. but at home, I absolutely have to have my lemon water and what I do now when we go to the grocery store I just buy it in just huge bags I buy lemons and limes in just huge bags I wash them make sure you wash your lemons and your limes and I freeze them and by doing that they are ready for me there's no excuse for me to not drink my water today because like I said it's very difficult for me right now to drink my water without lemon so I go ahead wash them slice all of them up and I put them in the freezer that way they are absolutely ready to go and also as the weather heats up they serve as little ice cubes so as the water the ice inside of the frozen lemon and lime slices start to melt down they really infuse into the water and make the water for me even more tasty and I know a lot of us too when we're trying to get our water in during the day you may feel that it is a bit cumbersome to have to sit and you know what are we supposed to drink eight glasses of water a day i make sure when i'm drinking my water i am doing something and so it takes the mundaneness if you will out of drinking the water so when i get up in the morning i try to you know grab a magazine or you know i'll peruse the internet <laughs> when I'm drinking my water and then it won't seem like such a chore um, so yeah make sure you're getting your water in I absolutely say that is the quickest easiest way to help us drop the unwanted pounds all of those all of that weight that we have put on you know during the infamous quarantine we're gonna have to work to get it off the easiest way to do it I would say uh, for me, it has been to make sure I'm getting in my daily glasses of lemon water. So meditation, lemon water. All right, now this next one, I just have to be honest with you, is one that I have to force myself to do, but I do it on a daily base, basis. And that is going to be eating breakfast. Eating breakfast and drinking water, I feel go hand in hand. When we drink our water, when we start our mornings off with our water, it really helps to kickstart our metabolism and really get, you know, the juices flowing and you can, you know, prepare your body for the day ahead and you, you feel energized. And the same thing is uh, goes, the same thing can be said with um, breakfast. Back in the day, I used to skip meals because I felt that I had to not as many, eat as many meals a day because I wanted to drop, you know, drop some of these unwanted pounds. But just in talking with my physician and just practicing it myself, 
eating breakfast. Now, I didn't say, you know, you're gonna tip over to the Waffle House or IHOP and get a full waffles, pancakes, and all that stuff. I would love to do it, <laughs> but you're gonna have to, I, at least for me, what has helped me is to just eat a small breakfast and it's gonna consist of yogurt some days. Some days when I want to add to the yogurt, I'll you know cut up a banana, some granola. The granola that I have absolutely been enjoying is the uh, Kind Healthy Grains and this is the peanut butter clusters. I love anything peanut butter and just that little extra crunch Added to the uh, yogurt really helps to, you know, it makes it a little bit different, makes it a little bit uh, special for me in the mornings when I'm not really wanting to eat breakfast. And then also, if I'm really not in the morning in the mood to eat something, even though, you know, yogurt's not a whole lot, I'll do one of these V8 energy drinks. Guys, these have just 50 calories, but they do pack a powerful punch. I can't tell you guys the last time I've had a cup of coffee. Don't get me wrong, I do enjoy coffee. I'm not getting rid of any of my coffee machines, but I feel that when I, back when I was drinking coffee every day, sometimes twice a day, I felt that when I skipped a day, man, the headaches were out of control. There is nothing, in my opinion, worse than a caffeine headache. It's like when you drink coffee and you really drink coffee like I was drinking coffee, your body gets you get gets used to that caffeine and so you have to feed the beast. And so you just end up drinking more coffee. But I have found myself here lately enjoying the V8 energy drinks. Like I said, they are only 50 calories and they are a great meal replacement. These are absolutely energy packed and um, they come in so many different flavors and I feel um, energized like I said just as if I were drinking coffee. I've also been drinking green tea. It is also really really great but you want to make sure you are keeping your metabolism just going and we'll find that we are able to drop those um, those unwanted pounds like I said several members of my family my immediate family have said that you know that you know I look great that they can tell that I have lost a little weight and that's all I need to hear so make sure you are meditating Drinking your water for me is going to absolutely be lemon water and eating some type of breakfast in the morning. I know the biggest craze right now is the goalie gummy craze. Goalie gummies are everywhere. Everybody is has an affiliate with the goalie gummies. I do not. I take my just regular one a day multi women's multivitamins that you can pick up anywhere. I get mine from Kroger, but I make sure that I take my vitamins. I love the fact that we're able to take vitamins now and they taste good. Back in the day, you had to swallow those huge pills. Now there are some vitamins that I take, magnesium and things like that, and they're just ridiculous, all right? Um, but we do want to make sure we're taking those other supplements, but I love the fact that I can get my multivitamin in and it tastes tasty. Follow you know, my yogurt is fruity. I love the cherry and the mixed berry varieties of yogurt. And so to finish that off and then follow that up with my chewable, my gummy vitamins, it's just, it's just a no brainer. So I make sure I get my multivitamins in a day, at, uh, every day I take two. And I think with the goalie gummies, you guys can take, uh, you take two of those also, but I do my lemon water. I get my breakfast, follow that up with my um, gummies, and then I drink another glass of water to kind of wash everything, flush everything through, and it just really gets my day started. I have a busy, busy, busy day. You guys know I'm a small business owner, and it's a lot. I am um, pretty much a one-woman show. Everything that you see is just about all me, and so I have to make sure I am energized to get myself through the day. Back when I wasn't doing all of this, I just felt like I was just sluggish, and I complained a lot, and I want to say the biggest component of this is absolutely going to be the meditation. It just really sets me up for a perfectly good day but also making sure I have some nutrients in my body, whether it be, oh, let me say this too about the V8s. They also provide a serving of fruit and vegetables, and that is just great. That is just great. So you don't have to skip your meals. You can get, you know, 50 calories. This, this is 
is going to set, set you up for a perfect day. So I love the fact that I'm able to take my multivitamins and I've always done that. There are a gummy, but also when I do the V8s, I can get some vitamins and things in there from the servings of fruits and vegetables that V8 offers. I love too that these particular V8s are, they go down a lot easier than the tomato based v8s those are okay but early in the morning for me my stomach isn't ready to have all of that Ooh, tomato -y, celery i mean and all of this stuff you stuff you can put in a smoothie but in that particular form v of the the tomato based v8s the tomato the celery the mm -mm. Mm -mm. This is a lot better for me. This next one, guys, was actually a suggestion from Eric. He suggested that I start doing yoga. Back in the day, when I went downstairs to the gym, you would always find me just lifting weights. And I still do uh, strength training, but not with all of the heavy weights anymore. I would complain to Eric that I would just feel like I was just so bulky and just so just thick and heavy up top. And he said, it's because you go down to the gym and you want to work out like a guy and you just, you, you bulk up. I naturally have a large upper body. I have a large upper body and he's, you know, it's common sense now when I think about it, but he was like, you need to stop lifting all of those heavy weights. You're just packing bulk on top of, you know, an already, you know, bulky frame. So I have since guys started doing yoga and I, I gosh, like I almost get emotional just thinking about it and just how great I feel when, not only when I finish doing my yoga, but just in the middle of it. The meditation, it centers and grounds me, but the yoga, I am really able to just, just release everything. When I initially started, now I'm still kind of tight. <laughs> I am still kind of tight. My muscles are kind of are, are kind of tight. I've only been doing yoga maybe five months, guys. So I'm 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 getting there, but when you find yourself just releasing into a stretch or just relaxing into a pose, it just clears your mind and you're able to just, I know the young lady that I watch, and if I remember, I will leave her channel below in the description box, but she, she tells you just relax and let go. Don't try to escape. Um, what we feel or may interpret as pain as we are stretching our muscles, but just listen to your body as you are relaxing into the pose. And I've been doing that and I just feel, I feel a lot leaner. I feel a lot longer. It elongates my body and you feel like, you know, initially I felt like I wasn't getting anything out of it. Like, how is this a workout? But now that I've really become more familiar with the poses, my heart rate is up and you're doing certain poses and you're having to work with your body weight. So you're doing some sort of strength training in that form. And I absolutely love it. If you are like me and you feel like you have, you know, a bulkier body, or you feel like you're you get up in the morning and you have aches and you're wondering like where did this ache come from today do yourself a favor find you a beginner yoga video or channel or whatever start it and when you start guys doing this yoga if you're anything like me you feel you feel bad you feel there's a void when you miss a day i can't say that i do it every day I try to do it just about every day. I, I may miss a day or two here and there. And when I miss, when I don't do it, I really, I long for it, you know? So yoga has absolutely helped me. I never thought I would be that individual who, who loved yoga. I was a straight up gym rat. I've told you guys, if, if you are 
If you're new to the channel, first off, welcome. Hi, thanks for coming over and joining the Unprobably Mommy channel. But if you have been a member here to the channel for a while, I actually have a certification in physical fitness. There's a video deep down in the archives here on the channel where I was a gym rat. I lifted heavy and just was really big into cardio. But now I'm all about relax, relate, releasing. And I find that I get even better results. I just feel like I, I like the shape and look of my body now as a result of doing the yoga. So as we mature, I would encourage you ladies to incorporate some yoga into your fitness routine. I'm not saying that you have to do yoga every day or that if you like, you know, running or biking. I know a lot of us have the Peloton bikes. Now you can absolutely still do that. What I do some days, we have a bike downstairs in our gym. In our gym, Some days I will do 30 minutes on the bike and then I'll do 30 to 45 minutes of yoga and it's just, it's just great. It's just great. The final, final, final thing that I've been doing that I really wanna share with you guys and I feel that as we get older, we should incorporate into our life, guys. And bear with me here. You're not gonna believe it. You're gonna be like, wait, what? Why that? Yoga pants compression pants, biker shorts. Yes! But guys, I just love them. I don't feel that we, as we mature, have to get away from wearing compression items. I mean, first of all, <laughs> if your body is set up like mine, nothing smooths and contour contours your body like a good pair of high-waisted biker shorts, all right? These things are super stretchy, but they are also super form fitting. And I would implore you, if you are going to invest in biker shorts or compression pants or uh, yoga pants, make sure you get the ones with a super, super high waist. They are going to snatch and hold you in like nobody's business. I love them. As we get older, everything is going to you know, well not everything, a few things are going to start to go south. And with the compression pants, guys, please forgive me, we are getting deliveries. I think Eric's doing something out in the garage. So you're going to hear the ring doorbell and you're gonna hear the garage. Please forgive. <laughs> but the compression, guys, they help to lift that butt, they help to snatch that waist in and smooth the belly. Now, there are levels to this, okay? I am not saying go out and wear in public the biker shorts that sit right up under the cheeks. We wanna keep those in the house. All right, we wanna keep those in the house. But the ones with the longer length, I think this pair right here is like a, media, a mid length, maybe uh, right above my knee. This pair right here, guys, like I said, <laughs> I have so many of these. This pair right here, super, super long. These fall well below my knee and I absolutely love them. I think it's a good idea too when you get your uh, biker shorts, vary up the length and see what looks best on your leg. I feel that if you are 
a shorter girl you definitely want to kind of try out the lengths and see what looks best because i don't know the longer length of biker shorts may make you look i don't know may make you look even shorter but you know some people want to be short i am five six and i feel that the longer ones look great on me i feel that the ones come that come to um a length a little bit above my knee look just as great so it's going to depend on the look that you like but i say also vary up the patterns and the colors when you get your biker shorts um also when you're wearing your biker shorts you know there are going to be those of you who are listening to me right now like what i'm x amount of x number of years old there's no way i'm going to put my behind in a pair of biker shorts now that's fine that's fine i it's to each his own but i will say don't sell yourself short don't just give up on wearing something because you think it's for a younger crowd what we have to do as we mature is just if we still love a piece of clothing an item kind of tailor it to fit you know our body types i am not saying go out grab your most crop top and then put on the biker shorts and you know have your midsection hanging out or whatever i'm also not saying go out and grab your most snug fitting top and then you put on the tight biker shorts absolutely not you don't want to walk around looking like you're about to go you know get a job at the water park i'm not saying that um t-shirts are great with the biker shorts as you guys saw saw in the styling portion i love blazers with the biker shorts also button down opened up tops with the you know cute top underneath is also great also equally as great is varying up your patterns all right we may not all have the smoothest bottom what i love and you can barely see them, but this is like a black gray and white print here and this one is more of a tiffany blue and black i actually uh, wore the tiffany t i believe it was with this, this pair but what happens is when you get a pair of biker shorts or even compression pants yoga pants that have a bit of a pattern it kind of camouflages any imperfections i should say in our body with the pattern i love this blue and um, black camo pair here i have this pair here in this great maroon color burgundy color i haven't even worn these the tag is still on them I absolutely love this olive color here. These have pockets. They are also a longer length. Just really, really great. I would also so uh, I would also say too, when you are buying your biker shorts, don't get them too, 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 too tight. When you get them too tight, not only do they give us the infamous area that no one wants to see but they also dig into our legs and they you know give you that extra bulge around the knee area so make sure you're not getting them too tight you know you do want them to have a snug fit because we want the look and feel of the compression but if they're too tight in the thigh area they're going to start to bulge a little bit and that's not real cute so these are my newest acquisitions in the area of compression or yoga pants i absolutely love these these are just perfect for spring and summer don't be afraid of color guys as you can see i hope that you can see it's a cloudy day today but these are a really bright yellow and white but they also have patterns on there i have a pattern on there um, because again you know getting the pattern it really helps to kind of camouflage those imperfections that you know we may or may not have well that's it guys a really cute little fun quick video today i hope that you guys enjoyed it please drop down leave a comment let me know are you already doing some of these things i'm pretty sure a lot of you are already meditating doing yoga absolutely taking your multivitamins let me know if you have absolutely tried the goalie gummies all right eric is about to pop in here with the pink packages guys thank you all so much for the love in the store this week you guys just continue to outdo yourselves each week with the love and support it does not go unnoticed eric and i appreciate the love so so very much so he's about to come in here now and show you all some love in the pink packages 
this. All right. Thank you guys so much. And I'll see you all in the next video. <laughs> Bye, guys. What up, YouTube family? Hopefully, you're feeling blessed and not stressed. I feel blessed because I'm back with you guys doing Pink Package shoutouts. It seems like it's been forever, and I missed you guys, but really, I only missed one week. But it seems like I haven't talked to you guys forever. Really missed you guys. Hope you're doing well, doing okay. Um, today, I'm rocking one of the watercolors. So let me, watercolors t-shirts. We're going to talk a lot about these shirts because a lot of you guys ordered the water, watercolors t-shirts, which is a new t-shirt line. Uh, from the Unfrumpy Mommy store, very popular with you guys. Uh, there's a shirt for um, Malcolm X, Bob Marley, some musical icons. Uh, there's a Whitney Houston shirt, Michael Jackson shirt. And speaking of music, a lot, let's talk about what's going on in the music world right now. Um, a lot to unpack, a lot going on, and a lot I wanna talk about with you guys. First and foremost, today is Wednesday. Uh, what's the date? Let me look up the exact date, just so I have it. Today is Wednesday, April 6th. Um, and as of today, unfortunately, you know, DMX um, is in the hospital. Um, I think they're saying, you know, he had a drug overdose, unfortunately. I think he's on life support in a vegetative state, really praying for that brother. You know, hopefully he pulls out of it. Obviously, I'm a, I am from an era, you guys know I'm a big hip hop fan and I'm gonna talk more about that in a minute, but I am from an era where DMX was huge. I remember when he came out, I think when I was in college and just came on the scene, with really just a different style and voice than anybody else. So really hoping that brother gets better. Um, and happier musical news, let me know if you guys caught the verses between the Isley Brothers and Earth, Wind & Fire. Um, I caught part of it. It was everything I expected it to be. Ironically, you know, I, I've talked about it before. My wife and I don't really do concerts as much anymore. You know, everybody kind of has to have their thing that they like to go and do. For us, you know, obviously it's Disney, it's going to Orlando. Um, so that takes a lot of our entertainment budget. But we used to do concerts quite a bit. And actually the last concert we went to was, at that time it was called Phillips Arena here in Atlanta. And it was the Osley Brothers and Earth, Wind and Fire. So I've always been a big fan, grew up with those groups. To me, those are two of the standard bearers of black, you know, African-American music. And one of the things I wanted to talk to you guys is, you know, what is your opinion of the state of black music, specifically here in the States? I'm not talking about necessarily, you know, island music, Caribbean music, uh, you know, reggae, Afro beats. I think those have taken off, but like black music here in the States, you know, in my opinion, I don't think this is an age thing and I'm gonna get into why. I just don't think the music is where, where it used to be. Um, and I think one of the reasons for that, you know, it's interesting, we're talking about Earth, Wind & Fire and the Isley Brothers, two of the most heavily sampled groups ever um, in R&B, in, in hip hop, both both very, very heavily sampled. And like, if we look at the demise of what I think of as the demise of hip hop, you know, a lot of the hip hop I grew up with, and even a lot of the R&B, it was heavy on samples, right? They sample, all the artists sample quite a bit. And I think what that did was it brought that soul of blackness forward from the 60s and the 70s and the 80s into the present day. Like you remember growing up in my era, listening to the Isley Brothers when you were in elementary school and then to hear a Notorious Big or a Tribe Called Quest used between the sheets, you know, in a song, you know, it, it just brought something different to it. And I think because of the expense of sampling, like I remember, um, who's the guy, Robin Thicke got sued by like Marvin Gaye's estate uh, for sampling. Um, uh, I heard a funny story, Cisco in uh, his song, The Thong Song, which is like the height of black music, right? The Thong Song, seriously though. In The Thong Song, you know, Cisco has that line, for those of you that have heard it before, living la vida loca, that's from a Ricky Martin song. When they wrote that song, Cisco ad-libbed that lyric, that living la vida loca, he ad-libbed that. And they said, hey, that sounds cool. The guys in the studio were like, hey, the engineers, that sounds cool, but we got to clear that sample. Cisco said, oh, no problem. I know the guy that wrote the song, I will clear it with him. And I saw this, this is from an interview I saw with Cisco. Cisco never cleared the sample. In the interview, Cisco said, because I didn't clear that sample, that songwriter basically came after me and got more royalties off that song than I did. Just because I didn't clear that one part where I say, living la vida loca, um, that was from a Ricky Martin song. He didn't get that clear. So I think sampling is one of those things where it's just, it became cheaper for artists not to sample. And there are artists that make good original music without sampling, but it's hard to beat the production of a Barry White or the Isley Brothers or an Earth, Wind & Fire, right? You know, um, it's just hard to beat, you know, a Betty Wright, right? You know, sampling those folks. So 
Let me know what you think about that in the comments. You know, I hear a lot of people complain about hip hop and it's more about, well, it's the mumble rap and the auto tune. And I do think that's part of it, but I also think a lot of it was lost with sampling. And so yeah, the state of black music, like there are no real R&B groups, right? There's not really an R&B group, right? Or real just solid R&B singers, not that are big. You know, you got a few smaller people that are out there, but nobody that does huge numbers singing traditional R&B, right? You don't have R&B male groups really anymore. You don't have R&B female groups anymore. You have people that kind of do a little bit of a, a little bit of crossover, but there's not that pureness. And here's how I know, just from looking at my son, how black music has fallen off. So my son is 18, right? You know, when I was my son's age, like that's the age when you're really into music, like your teens, your late teens, college, most of us, that's when we really get into music. So when I was his age, I was heavy into black music. I mean, all black music. I listened to everything from like hardcore, just underground hip hop, like Spice One and 8-Ball and MJG and, you know, uh, Ghetto Boys and 2 Live Crew, just real underground, grimy to, R&B, SWV, Mary J. Blige, Boys to Men, Joe to See, you know, 112. I listened to the old school stuff, the Barry Whites, um, the Diana Rosses, the old school Michael Jackson, um, the Earth, Wind & Fire, Isley Brothers. I listened to jazz. I was a big fan of like Donald Byrd and, you know, Grover Washington Jr. So I listened to all of it. My son, he likes some of the new stuff, right? And he's 18, He, you know, he'll do like some Kendrick Lamar. He's a big fan of The Weeknd. But a lot of the new stuff he doesn't, he's not into it. He will listen to, like, so for example, we have, you know, satellite radio. For those of you that have satellite radio, there's a channel on satellite radio. I think it's LL Cool J's channel called Rock the Bells Radio. And Rock the Bells Radio, it's LL Cool J's satellite radio channel. Um, it's all 80s and 90s hip hop. My son will listen to that. He'll listen to that all day, which is from my generation, before he'll listen to, like, the hip hop station here in Atlanta, which is like 107.9. Like he'll listen to some of it, don't get me wrong, but he does a lot more top 40, old school hip hop, old school R&B. He's a big Beatles fan, we've talked about that. And I just, would, and he'll tell you, it's just, there's no musicianship. It's all auto-tuned and heavily programmed and all that stuff, so. But anyway, enough about that. Oh, and by the way, I should mention, when we do shout outs now, you guys might hear some AC fans. I apologize if you hear an AC fan in the background, like I gotta turn this up a little bit. Um, it's getting hot in Atlanta. I can't sit, like I'm in the sun, because I want the lighting. You know, I want you guys to see all this melanin, right? Um, but it's hot in Atlanta, so I'm gonna have to run the AC when we do these shout outs. I will try to talk over it. I apologize if you hear a fan this spring and summer when we do the pink packet shout outs, but thank you for bearing with me. Before we get into the actual physical packages, I wanna shout out some very special ladies. These are all ladies that sent us like emails just about various topics. Um, Tammy H from Indianapolis sent us a very heartfelt email. Thank you so much. Uh, Hope um, of a Life of Hope on Instagram sent us a, a beautiful email. Shana N always from Arlington, Texas, um, always sends us funny emails, gives us stuff to talk about. And Deb, Deb P from Garner, North Carolina. And I think a couple of these ladies actually have orders also. Let's get into our first packet. So this is literally when the story opened on April 4th. This is literally the first order that came in. And it was from Rochal M. Rochal M. Thank you. So thank you. This is your first order ever, looks like, with the store. And you were the, you were the first person to come back when we restocked. So thank you for placing that first order. Uh, two Lux shirts and a Bob Marley watercolor shirt. So you ordered a shirt like this, but it has Bob Marley on it. Thank you so much, Rochal from Orangeburg, South Carolina. The second order, when we reopened, came from, of course, the one and only GDS from Wachula, Florida. Thank you so much, Judy. What can we say about Judy that we already haven't said? She's been so wonderful up for us, to, to us. We are grateful to have Judy in our life. Uh, Big Hair Friday, Michael Jackson Watercolors. What do you guys think was Michael Jackson's best album? Are you partial to Off The Wall or Thriller? Um, I am partial to Off The Wall. I think the Michael Jackson, Quincy Jones period was like, Thriller and Beat It, don't get me wrong, like those are great, but those are more crossover pop. I think Off The Wall, like you can put on the Off The Wall album, play it from beginning to end, I, I love that album. Um, Carla P, Austin, Texas, shout out to Austin. Carla P. Um, Soul Sister t-shirt. Thank you so much, Carla. It was Carla's. Cause I don't remember that name. Let me see, a first order. Welcome to the family, Carla. Thank you. Austin, Texas is hot. Like that is the city where everybody's moving to now, all the companies. So Carla, let us know how you're getting along in um, Austin. We just talked about Hope, Hope Inn out of Raleigh, North Carolina. Um, Hope ordered this shirt. 
Great minds think alike, Hope. Um, so thank you so much. This is Hope's fourth order out of Raleigh. Uh, we're that in good health, Hope, and thank you for the love you sent us uh, in that email this week. Feliza S. Feliza S. out of Smyrna, Tennessee. I always want to say Smyrna, Georgia. There's a Smyrna, Georgia, but she is from Smyrna, Tennessee. First order. Welcome to the family, Feliza. Um, two Lux shirts. Lucinda N. out of San... So another Texas out of San Antonio, Texas. Welcome to the family, Lucinda N. First order. Whitney Houston watercolors. Larissa J. No, Harissa J. Harissa J. out of Charlotte, another North Carolina. Thank you so much, Harissa J. Uh, first order, another Lux. Hey, that, I've heard that name before. I don't know if that's Harissa's true first order. Might, she might have had more than that. So I apologize, Harissa, if I got that wrong. Felicia W., this is her second order out of Plano, um, Texas. I've been to Plano quite a bit. Um, two watercolors. So she ordered a Malcolm X and a Bob Marley. I told you the Malcolm X is really popular. Titiana P. also thinks so because she also ordered Malcolm X, Malcolm Martin Mandela, Mount Malcolm Mandela, uh, Malcolm X watercolor shirt and a Black Marriages Matter. Titiana P is a great, great friend of the uh, YouTube channel and the store. Go follow her over on Instagram. It is TT, the letter T, and then the letter T, party of six. Go follow her. This is her sixth order. She's out of West Palm Beach, Florida. Thank you so much, Titiana P. Go follow her over on Instagram. Um, Deborah P out of Garner, North Carolina. Uh, two Lux shirts. Thank you so much, Deborah P. And last, but certainly not least for today, Crystal S out of Southfield, Michigan, Tina Turner. So she got the Tina Turner retro shirt. Thank you so much, Crystal S out of Southfield. This is your second order. And yeah, I will, we got a bunch of shout outs this week. Stores back open for business. We appreciate you guys coming back after that hiatus to restock. And I will see you guys on the next Pink Package shout out. What up YouTube family? Hopefully you're feeling blessed and not stressed. I feel blessed to be able to join you for another day of Pink Package shout outs. Today I'm rocking the Bob Marley watercolors t-shirt, which I think a few of you have ordered. So thank you so much for those orders. I tell you what I think about Crystal C. She is a great lady because she placed her first order with the Unfrumpy Mommy store. She is out of Fredericksburg, Virginia. Whitney Houston. So again, back on it, Whitney Houston. Um, one of the greats um, ordered the Whitney Houston uh, watercolor shirt. Thank you so much. So the Whitney Houston is similar to this, but obviously it has Whitney Houston on it. So thank you so much, Crystal C. The next order, Vicky S. Another first order. Thank you so much, Vicky. Um, two Lux shirts. And she is out of St. Charles, Maryland. Thank you so much, Vicky S. Out of St. Charles, Maryland. Next order, big package here. Laurie S. Okay, so here's the reason this is a big package. Um, we have a lot. We, ha we have the Unfrumpy Bundles collection, which is basically, it's either like a group of shirts. So you can buy like four shirts that have a similar theme at like a discounted price. You know, I think we have shirts in packs of two, three, and four. Um, we have some shirts that come with like little tote bags. Um, I think we do have an order for those coming up in one of these pink package shout outs. Lori S, the unfrumpy bundle that she ordered is the Ladies of the Stage Retro Bundle. So that bundle, I think, features Diana Ross, Tina Turner, Nina Simone, and Shaka Khan. This, this is interesting. This pink package shout out has like a music theme, right? So we're going to keep with that theme. So Lori S ordered the Ladies of the Stage Retro Bundle. First order. So a big order for her first order. Thank you so much, Lori S out of Lincoln, California. Ladies of the Stage. A lot of nice bundles. Um, Mother's Day and Father's Day are coming up. So those are great. The bundles, we have bundles for men and women um, and shirts, obviously, for men and women. Those are great kind of unique gift ideas. There's even a birthday bundle that we have. Um, Keisha P. Watercolors, M Malcolm X and Michael Jackson. Um, Keisha P. Third order. Thank you so much. Out of Douglasville, home team right here local. Uh, the Malcolm X and Michael Jackson. Let me know also in the comments, Michael Jackson's best album. I said it was off the wall but let me know. Um, also, so one new program I want to start here or one new thing I want us to start doing, question of the week. This week is all about music. Let's have a great conversation in the comments. Um, the second new thing I want to start with you guys is, and it's already started, right? Um, the newsletter. A lot of these orders, you guys use the newsletter discount code, and I, we really appreciate that. We really appreciate, you know, signing up and reading the newsletter. We got a lot of great content on there, a lot of great deals and savings and fines that sometimes are in the video, sometimes are not. We always have a discount code. The newsletter will typically come out at the beginning of each month, uh, so they're kind of themed by month. Um, there's always a discount code. I think what we're going to start doing, though, we're going to have like a little bonus hidden code that's like a flash sale, right? We'll always have like our traditional 
I think we do like a like a 10% off code every month. That'll stay, but we're gonna do like a special, some type of special promotion. It won't be good for that long, maybe a couple of days, but it'll be like a really good sale or something. We're working on it. And again, this isn't gonna happen. We're in April, this won't be till the May newsletter. So the April newsletter is already out there. It's on the website. A lot of you guys are obviously featured in the newsletter. That's the big thing too. Anytime you make a comment um, on Instagram um, or in a YouTube video about the story, we've even got some TikTok stuff, people doing TikToks now. And I will see you in the next Pig Package shout out. What's up, YouTube family? Hopefully you're feeling blessed and not stressed. I feel blessed because I have yet another Pink Packet shout out. And don't forget, guys, whenever I say that line, I hope you feel blessed and not stressed. Take a moment, maybe even pause the video. These videos always come out on Sunday, so it's appropriate. And maybe just take a moment to kind of uh, count your blessings. Um, let's jump right into the Pink Packet shout outs. Now, today is Thursday. We're coming up on the end of the week. This may or may not be the last set of Pink Packet shout outs for this week. So if you have an order that came in later in the week and it didn't make it, rest assured your order's still going out. You'll probably be in next week's Pink Packet shout out. But this week, right now, we have Kim G. Kim G, uh, her first order. And I'm going to try to not pronounce the name of this town. Our train. Yips. I am not going to be able to pronounce this. Spilanti? Spilanti. Spilanti, Michigan. Um, a luck shirt. Thank you so much, Kim G, from this unpronounced. Like, here's how the, here's the name of this town. I'm going to spell it out. Y-P-S-I-L-A-N-T-I. Y-P. How does a name start with Y-P? What, what is that? I don't know. That's, that's wild. Maybe it's a Native American name. I don't know. But thank you so much, Kim G, your first order for this high luck shirt order. Welcome to the family. Now, I definitely remember this name. Celia Lee, Celia Lee K. Celia Lee K. Thank you so much. This is your eighth order line. Thank you so much for rocking with us. Celia Lee out of Las Vegas, North Las Vegas to be specific. Luck shirt and a bag secured. And I know in Vegas, you guys are all about securing the bag and taking the bag of the people that come there to gamble and lose money. Um, let me know in the comments if you go to Vegas or Biloxi or any of these gambling, you know, do gambling boats, if you win or lose money. Um, Annette B., Temple Hills, Maryland. Temple Hills, Maryland. Thank you so much, Annette B. Second order, My Roots. Next, we have a pack package from Cheryl I out of Converse, Texas. Texas always shows us so much love. A Lux shirt. Wow, Shana N. Shana N has three shirts in this order from Arlington, Texas. This says first order. I do not believe it is because that name sounds... Is this the Shana that's always sending us the funny emails? I think this is that Shana. Thank you, Shana. She always sends us the funny emails. Yep, because she's from Texas. See, I'm starting to remember. I'm, I'm getting older, but I can still remember some stuff. Um, three airplane mode shirts. Um, so a lot I can say about this order. If you're not familiar with the airplane, and I shouldn't say shirts, it's a bundle. I also love it. I love it when your orders tell a story. So Shana's order is telling a story because evidently she's going somewhere fun. She ordered three of the airplane mode t-shirt and tote bag bundles, and they're three different sizes. So evidently, she and maybe a couple of her girlfriends or family members are going somewhere really fun. Hopefully, enjoy that trip, Shana. Next up, Jennifer J. Thank you so much, Jennifer. This looks like it is your first order, and you ordered five shirts. God says, Friday, I'm from the mommy code, F-O love, my roots. Thank you so much. Out of Hadelburg, Mississippi. Thank you so much, Jennifer J. We really appreciate the love, especially on the first order. Next up. Alinda C. Alinda C. out of Manassas, Virginia. Thank you so much. Caramel Cutie, Lux, Lux. So three shirts. Thank you so much. Alinda C. out of Manassas, Virginia. And maybe the last package for this week. Maybe not. Donna T. Donna T. out of Elkton, Maryland. This is her second order. Another Lux shirt. Thank you so much, Donna. And yeah, I appreciate you rocking with you guys rocking with me this week. Um, you know, I enjoy talking to you about music this week. I probably rambled and talked a little bit more than I should, but it's you guys can probably tell I'm, you know, really into music, like I'm sure a lot of you are. You know, I had a couple of a couple of closing thoughts. Um, you know, I had brought up, you know, Michael Jackson and Prince and Whitney Houston. You know, I think if you took those three right and had added Rihanna and Beyonce, that's kind of the Mount Rushmore of just the top, you know, black artists since 1980, right? Whitney, um, uh, Michael Jackson, Prince, and then Beyonce and Rihanna. And I said, you know, what I, I thought it was you know, really sad and tragic that, you know, Michael and Prince and Whitney and now DMX, you know, also came to, you know, drugs. And, you know, like one of my favorite TV shows is um, Unsung. 
And I love that show. If you don't watch Unsung, you're really missing out. And it seems like there's always, like there's a repeatable pattern when you watch that show. If it's a group, the groups always start arguing and break up. None of the artists ever get paid what they're supposed to get paid. Get paid. They all get ripped off. Um, I'd be interested to hear your thoughts on that. Uh, and I will certainly see you. I appreciate you guys hanging out with me and I will see you on the next Peak Package shout out. What up YouTube family? Hopefully you're feeling blessed and not stressed. I feel blessed because it is a beautiful Friday here in Atlanta. Um, you know, I said yesterday, I thought we might have one more Peak Package shout out and sure enough we did. You guys made a bunch of orders on Thursday and Friday. Today is Friday. Um, we appreciate all of you guys. You know, the bulk of the orders come in on Sunday when the videos are released and you guys see the new releases, but you guys really order all through the week. And, and you know, the Unfriendly Mommy appreciates that. I appreciate that. So these are orders that came in later in the week, either today or yesterday, which was Thursday. Karen F. out of Detroit. Um, she ordered a Lux shirt. Thank you so much, Karen F. out of Detroit, Michigan. And I'm going to make this one quick because I've been talking all week, so I'm not going to, you know, do any discussions or anything with you guys. We're just going to jump right into it. This one's from Manual T. out of Greenbelt, Maryland. Third order. Thank you so much, Manual T. Malcolm X um, and a Lux shirt. Thank you so much for that order. Jacqueline B. Jacqueline B. out of Washington, D.C. This says this is your first order. Welcome to the family, Jacqueline. Um, let's see. Shades of Melanin, Malcolm X, Michael Jackson. Thank you so much, Jacqueline B. Angela W. Angela W. out of Laurel, Maryland. So another Maryland. A Lux shirt. Thank you so much, Angela W., for ordering your Lux shirt. First order. Welcome to the family. Carla T. Carla T. A Lux, two Lux shirts. Thank you so much, Carla T. Out of Maple Heights, Ohio. Thank you, Carla T. For your first order. And last but certainly not least, closing out the week here on Crystal P. Crystal P. Out of Nightdale, North Carolina. Another first order, Malcolm X. So a lot of first orders in this last batch. Welcome to the family, everyone. And um, yeah. We do this every week. I will see you guys on the next week's next week's Pink Package shout out. Remember what we do in these shout outs. I will typically bring up a topic. I want you guys to be interactive this week. It was all about music. Who knows what it'll be about next week? That'll kind of depend on what's going on in the news. You know, remember when you you know feel blessed and not stressed, take those blessings into uh, next week. Be on the always on the lookout for the newsletter at the beginning of the month. Next month's newsletter again, I think we're going to do like a little special promotion. We'll see, but be on the lookout for that. And I will see you guys on next week's Pink Packet Shoutouts.